fuck if he like it, but he gon' respect the script. Yeah, I saw funny games till a nigga trippin'. Mop the flow, hide the west side just to catch him slippin'. Slippin'. Pull up bounce out with a briefcase, it's time to handle business. Handle Yo, fuck if he like it, but he gon' respect the script. Yeah, I saw funny games till a nigga trippin'. Mop the flow, hide the west side just to catch him slippin'. Slippin'. Pull up bounce out with a briefcase, it's time to handle business. Thank you, baby, I just look like this fucking nigga mean. Play with my respect, leave him wetter than a dream. I'll die for this shit, baby, I'm a different breed. I never let the beef get cold. Nigga, where's the beef? What is up, my quesadillas? We are in Shinjuku, the biggest station in Japan. I haven't been here in a fat minute, but I'm gonna meet up with Soichiro. No, are you serious? Bro, are you serious? What? I, are you serious? Why do I see this guy? This, this is not even planned. Yeah. This is not planned. I wanna show them Playboy Cardi. Um, oh, hell no. Transit card. It said put a name in it, and I put, and I put a name in it. Yeah. Okay, and he put Playboy Cardi. Yeah, Playboy, that's the Hell first yeah. thing that came to my yeah. mind. Why don't you just put Nazar? I'm gonna say Loki, and, and okay. Playboy is like one of my favorite artists. So. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, hey. I'm going to my friend's bar out here in Shinjuku okay. uh, for some drinks. It's a Friday night, so if you don't come with me. All right, bet, bet, bet. Uh, I was gonna meet up with my friend. He's a Japanese dude, Soichiro. Can I? Uh, Soichiro? Yeah. You know him? I oh, know you know, Soichiro. You know <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen him. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen him. Bro. Bro. Is it cool if he comes? Ma, ma, ma. The kid. Alright, you want to be All right, Alright, I'm gonna meet up with him. You wanna come with me to get him, or do you wanna like? Can I just send you the Eddie? Eddie, because the homie's waiting for me. Like, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Hey, Let me know. happy days, bro. Yeah. Send me the Eddie, though. Send me the Eddie. We'll probably pull up. I'm finna send you the Eddie. Slide through, bro. Slide. 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 Yo, that was the most random thing. This is literally the biggest train station. I don't know how to get out of here though. Hey, mush mush. Yeah, I just got here. Bro, the funniest thing just happened. I was vlogging and Nazar just walks past me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was acting like he didn't see me. Or maybe he's just too tall. He just sees like way ahead of me. He invited us to a bar. Alright, for sure. Yeah, I'm looking for it right now. Now I'm kind of lost. This is a big ass station. Yeah, I'm in the Odaku line entrance. Oh, I think I found it. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. I see. I see it. I'm coming. I'm coming. What? What the fuck? The the stairs up is the door is locked. Oh, why is it so confusing? God damn. I'm gonna ask this guy real quick. Hold up. I I know the way out now. Just gotta walk this way. Wait, why am I holding my phone up to my face? I have AirPods. I'm walking out now. I'll right, we'll just stay on the phone until we find each other. I'm at the uh. Do you know the Odaku? That little mall area. You know the flower shop. Wait, a minute oh are you outside i'm outside now i'm on the main floor like i can see outside right now yeah i'm by all these taxis uh i'm on east side i see ko uh yeah it's in front of me or maybe behind me maybe escalators i see the gate to ko line bro why is the station so big yeah there's a, there's a lot of escalators here <laughs> Yeah, I know. I know there's a lot of escalators here. All right, bro. I'm coming on Odaki line. Wait. Oh, you know the curry shop? CNC? The curry shop? No? Huh. No, no. I'm on the east side. I'm on the east side. That's what I said. That's what I said from the beginning. I said, I said, I didn't see. Yeah, I said I was on the east square. Um, I think so. Hold on. I think I know. I think I know where to go. All right, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, I found it. I found it. I found it. I found West Square. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, no. That's the West Bus Station. Never mind. All right. I, I found the West. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is this? Oh, no. That's East Square. No. I don't even see a building. There's like a roof on top of me, but I see the outside. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I could come to where you are. Okay, Shinjuku Station West entrance. Let me find that. How about we just meet like at a thing? Let's just meet at like, um, man. Yeah, yeah, let's meet at a landmark. Um, wait, yeah. What the, yeah? Okay, um, here. I'll see you soon then. Oh shoot, okay. That smoking box? You want me to come to that cancer box? You want me to come to that fucking place? Mission accomplished. I just have to go up the stairs. I thought I was outside. I thought I was on the main floor, but I wasn't. I was underground. And I just went up these random stairs and ended up. It's like some Harry Potter shit. I don't know. Hey, bro. Uh, the boy. Hello. Hey, good to see you. I see you got yeah, thanks, man. Thanks, man. Pretty fresh. The Japanese Talarim and stuff. Nazar said he's gonna send me a place, the location, but you know, after knowing Nazar for a while, he's not really a man of his word, not gonna lie. Sorry, Nazar. You're a man of the drip, not your word. It's okay. I didn't really have expectations anyway. So Ichiro got a place for us to go. And then we're gonna go to a club after, so that should be pretty lit. We're in this like, we're in this kind of like half dirty, half clean alleyway. Typical Izaka. <laughs> Yeah. Just 
three floors in this bitch. Yeah, this is so cool. We're at this like pretty dope uh, isekai right now. I don't really want to film everyone. It's just like a tiny ass room with a bunch of people. Got some beers. Rolling up his butt. <laughs> if, if you're a stoner and you live in Japan, this is what you have to do. Oh, I try rolling one? Yeah. Uh, let's try my rolling skills. Oh, okay. Do a rolling lesson. Hello. This is Soichiro. I'll teach you guys how to roll a cigarette. Get a paper. Get one of them. This is Shag. Shag? Shag. Get some tobacco. That's good. Yeah, that's enough. I think that's way too much. Ah, ah, just a little bit. Ah, here, here. Ah, here. Like this. And then you roll it. <laughs> What's the tutorial? Yeah. And then you roll it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. I forgot about one really important thing. You see, like, difference of color here. It means they're just, like, nori stick. You gotta have it, like, inside. There's, like, sticky pop. Oh, so you roll it, afterward you can lick it, and then... You know. Yeah, I think I did it on the wrong part. Sticky parts on the outside. And this was the beginning of K's drug addiction. Bro, the box cigarettes, they don't do anything for me. Oh, this gives me a little buzz. So much better. Now. I got sent a picture to my family. Oh, hell yeah. I am Banjo. So, Shiro, are you aware of uh, the idea that life goes in cycles, life and death, and stuff like that? That's some Buddhism shit, though. Sounds Buddhist, yeah. But it's like, you know, there's the beginning and the end and all that. And there's like chapters in your life. Are you aware that this is the beginning of a chapter? Three years ago, I made a vlog called It's Lit in Shinjuku. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah. We went to an izakaya yeah, and we got drunk and we did the same exact shit. When I first started, came to Japan, just got a girlfriend. Now the relationship's over. Yeah, my like, relationship is over. Your relationship's <laughs> over. I'm back in Japan and who we go? We're starting again. And so, cool. true, true. To, to a new cycle, to a new beginning. How do you feel like you've changed in the past three years? Well, how have you grown? Yeah, man, Kashida, everything has changed. I wasn't even a university student. I lived in Ogikubo. Now I live in Tachikawa. I met so many new people studying sociology and shit. It's really so hard to like uh, summarize what I have learned. Okay. Okay. Well, from 18 year old Soichiro to 21 year old Soichiro, what's the difference? I lost so much confidence in a good way. I lost so much confidence in a good way. In the good yeah, way. Me too. I really missed the time 
I had so so much confidence. I was like, I'm actually the middle of the world. <laughs> That's what I felt. Yeah. yeah. But now I'm like, this is a bad one. It's not really a good one. I, I really missed the time three years ago. Three years ago, I I was like really having fun. Like, I could do everything. I feel like I could do everything. I could be everything. I thought I was center of the world. Yeah. I was like. I am right in every way. Yeah. I was like, uh, I am super clever. I know it. I don't know everything, but like, if I knew it, I can tell the truth. Like yeah. something like that. You know? yeah, yeah. I thought I am always right. You're like the all-seeing judge. You know, you're like. Yeah. I, I thought like I can judge everything. Now I'm like, I can be really skeptical. Am I actually right? I feel like this from bottom bottom of my heart. But is this actually my idea? Do I think like this because I am Japanese? Maybe. Maybe because I lived outside of Japan. The things I talked about, like this effect from out influence from outside. I can always be skeptical to myself. So like I gotta lose my confidence. You know? Yeah. I can't really say that this is truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's a good thing though, because yeah. a lot of time nobody knows the truth. So people saying this is truth is fake. Wait, bro, that was supposed to be mine. You wrote that for me. <laughs> this is This is how scary nicotine addiction is. I wrote it for him, forgot it, put it in my mouth. I'm at the same point as like same place as you. Like realizing, damn, you know, maybe I'm not shit. Before we didn't give a fuck because we were the one. We were the middle of the world. And now we get humbled by life and we realize, you know, we're not the middle of the world. And then so I think the journey from being a boy to a man is basically making yourself the middle of the world. Like a boy just thinks he's middle of the world. But a man makes himself the middle of the world. And so it's practicing the art of not giving a fuck. That's what you're doing. Yep. That's what you're doing. Yep. Yeah, nice. Hey, yeah. Bro, I got moved, man. Yeah. That's what it is right now. You know, it's really hard to realize that you are not the one. <laughs> Sometimes gives you like really big disappointment. Like, I mean, honestly, like I still feel like I'm the one. It's just that I don't know. It's like I'm humbled. I know I'm not the one, but at the same time, but my character figures out that maybe he's not the one, but then he becomes the one. Being a boy, it's so fun. So yeah. Fun. It is, it is. So fun. Yeah. So much fun. Yo, I kind of miss when I was like stupidly so confident. Yeah. I, I have no that. idea why I was so confident on myself yeah. though. I, I didn't know anything, but I thought I know everything. <laughs> yeah, I think there's definitely like a value in it, but you can't let that keep you blind from like improving. Yeah, yeah. And that's what it was doing for me and a lot of people. There are so many ways to not give a fuck. Because like, you actually know what's going on, but you can act like you don't give a fuck. Yeah. And it, there are pe there are some people who actually don't give a fuck. Yeah. They don't they don't even know the situation. Best is you can give a fuck, but you don't have to. Honestly, like are not giving a fuck before, like when we're 18, it's more of a, it's not giving a fuck because we give the most fucks to like train ourselves to get to the point where we don't give a fuck and we truly don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah. I think it's possible. And I think that is a skill that most people, like probably 99.9% .9 of people have not got to yet. I'm trying to do that most extraordinary thing. So I want to get to that, that point one, like literally chosen one type shit. Good vibes, baby. Hello. Right, I'm gonna chug this beer and then tell me how much I love you all. I love you guys. I love you guys, seriously. I have 300,000 subscribers and you know lately I've been getting like 3,000, 4,000 views a video. 1% of my audience is watching me. Is actually like kind of caring about me. Part of me wants to say like, like what the fuck? Part of me wants to think about the negative but you know like I really love you guys. Even the ones that, that aren't even here. Wait no I don't. I'm lying. I was thinking when I was taking this. The best way to not give a fuck doesn't mean you can do whatever you want. Even things you feel like it's a bad thing. Uh -huh. I know this is bad, 
but I don't give a fuck, so I do it. This is like a really bad way of not giving a fuck. Really good way of not giving a fuck is to have this idea of what is actually right and what is actually wrong. But like to have this idea on you, it's like created by you. It's your own idea of good and bad. You're not giving a fuck about others. You're giving a fuck your own. You're not giving a fuck about on the others. Like you know, you're giving fuck on yourself that this is right and this is wrong. As you experience a lot of events, you have so many like tools to create your own moral tool. It's not your answer. Look it up. You're gonna keep learning. If you only have like one event, chopstick ball. Yeah. Oh, so there is gravity, but maybe. Apart from chopsticks, everything floats. If you didn't know this uh, fact that apart from chopsticks, everything floats, you end up in a conclusion there is gravity. So you're basically blind. You only have one experience, that's why you came up, uh, you concluded wrong uh, ideas. You're gonna learn a lot of things. You're gonna, from boy to a dog, from boy to a man, you start having a body in your own moral code from man to death you experience a lot of things and then try to renew your moral code to the better one improve your moral code you know that different three years ago and now え、そうしろ。ですもう考えてしまう。ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、
Hey, what's up, my quesadillas? Before we get into the dancing segment of this video, we got a sponsor, baby. That's right, Skillshare. Back at it again. Quesadillas, we we out here. Thank you, Skillshare. Thank you for the sponsor. Thank you for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare. Yeah, what? Dude, what, what do I have to say about Skillshare? There's a lot to say about it. Every time I do one of these brand deals, they always upgrade their website. It's always growing. If you watch me, you probably like me. Well, yeah, you probably like me, but you're also probably like me. That's probably why you watch me, right? That's why we don't have that much viewers right now. We're pretty rare. Those cases, we're, we're one of a kind. So yeah, if you're like me, you, you may be uh, interested in stuff like me. Now, you may be interested in like the same things I do. I know a lot of quesadillas are artists in every category. And so Skillshare is really good for that. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I know it's a promotion. I know this is a brand deal, but I'm not even kidding. Like it's actually good. You know, if the money's right, maybe I'll do some brand deals for uh, for companies I don't really support. But this is like one of the ones that I, you know, I really like, you know, this is actually nice. You'll be able to tell when it's like just for the money and you'll be able to tell if it's for the money with a bit of heart. And this is one of them. If you want to grow as an artist, an entrepreneur, anything on self-improvement, self-expression, this is really good for you. Any unique individuals, this is a really good website that has classes on a wide plethora of things. I'm telling you, they upgraded this. They added a bunch of stuff. When I logged in this time, they had a bunch of different categories, like physical art, digital art, film, photography, leadership, business, marketing, even like productivity. There are a lot of things. If you have a feeling that this website might be able to help you it will definitely be able to help you there's so much different classes nicely built into different segments and so if you're like me it's hard to focus and stuff like that this is a real digestible way of learning i'm not even reading the talking points of what skillshare told me to say i'm just going off of my head i'm just going off of what i'm saying i should probably relax though this is business okay so yeah, i've been using skillshare for like the past 10 minutes so i found this course right here on youtube success build an authentic channel that's worth the follow that's exactly what i needed by sorella moore youtuber videographer photographer and i keep thinking to myself damn she has a big mouth but i also think to myself damn this is a good website they even have courses on plants on growing plants and cooking like I i'm telling you there's a lot of stuff like you should just check it out pretty sure it has something for everybody unless you're like a coal miner it's a really clean website ad free new classes launching every week there's always something new so yeah if you're a creative such as me this would be a very good website for you if you click on the link below i'll have a free trial laid out for you you get a one month free trial of premium skillshare membership mm -mm -mm. doesn't that sound good so there you go enjoy the dancing segment oh yeah by the way usually i'll dance in public because, you know, that's kind of the whole point of the Patan gaff. This is just some indoor activities. I'm still practicing art, not giving a fuck, just doing it with my brain. I still give a fuck while I'm dancing. I'm giving a fuck about what move I'm doing, gonna do and what, I, what I'm gonna, all sorts of stuff I'm gonna do. I'm still practicing the art, not giving a fuck, even though it's not with a bunch of people watching me. I'm watching me and that's enough. That's plenty. But usually I will dance in public. I have a good one, quesos. Face, I attack that. Choose up, Lil John. I'm finna pack him. When it comes to my bitch, I'm straight active. Dirt ball in the coop, smoking cat piss. Lil bitch, shut the fuck up. Tell your best friend, shut the fuck up. Ayy, Lil bitch, shut the fuck up. Tell your best friend, ayy, shut the fuck up. Ayy, my Lil baby, Loki, a flexor. Six figs on the whip, that's a price tag. Lil best friend, bitch, try to press me. I'm that underground nigga with the check though I hate a bitch that I can't impress When you come see the crib you better die ho Young nigga sneaking in through your side though Baby Keem not a wave, I'm a vibe ho 
seven fig nigga with the big drip on me. Post on your block with your wish list on me. Bitch, sit on my face, I attack that. Choose up, Lil John, I'm finna pack him. When it comes to my bitch, I'm straight active. Dirt ball in the coup, smoking cat piss. Lil bitch, shut the fuck up. Tell your best friend, shut the fuck up. Ayy, lil bitch, shut the fuck up. Tell your best friend, shut the fuck up. Ayy. I don't even look at my people. <laughs> yeah. Why the fuck do I have to look at your people? <laughs>